Greetings, friends. The briefing is devoted to exposing the fakes and propaganda of the aggressor state. Russia, through its talking heads, is trying to spread the traditional narrative of Poland's alleged intention to occupy part of Ukraine. One of Russia's officials, Rogozin, says this referring to a non-existent Twitter post on the Real News page. If you go to the page, there is no such message. Meanwhile, Russian propaganda goes further and, through its own talking Western experts, spreads the through in that Ukraine is allegedly doomed to defeat. Who did they find to spread this information? I quote, American military analyst Scott Ritter, Ukraine will definitely capitulate and one of the conditions will be that the Ukrainian military will no longer exist. If you don't observe Russian propaganda, the name Scott Ritter won't tell you anything. But if you have watched our previous briefings carefully, you will remember that Scott Ritter is a man with official status, namely registered sex offender in America. This man was convicted of unlawful contact with minors and was jailed, and then released. If Russia uses such assistance by such absolutely worthless experts, this indicates that there are no really influential Western analysts who are ready to speak in favor of Russia in this war. Meanwhile, another justification for the war was invented in Russian propaganda circles with reference to a representative of the occupation administration in the Zaporizhia region named Rogo. He in turn allegedly refers to reliable data in inner circles of Zelensky. Before the start of the war, the Kyiv authorities were allegedly going to launch missile strikes on four Russian cities – Belgorod, Bryansk, Rostov-on-Don and Simferopol. They attribute Simferopol to Russia, although it is an illegally occupied territory of Crimea. Of course, the Ukrainian authorities did not plan any missile strikes, and using such information through INS, they are again trying to justify their aggressive actions. In turn, another collaborator who has become a public mouthpiece of Russian propaganda is a former Ukrainian prosecutor named Volodymyr Konono. He is said to be the former deputy prosecutor of the Luhansk region. In fact, he was the deputy head of one of the local prosecutor's offices in the Luhansk region. And he gave an interview to the Russian state media resource RIA Novosti, claiming that in 2021 Ukraine planned to build a NATO base on the territory of Severodonetsk airport. In this way, the occupiers are again trying to justify their aggressive actions. Ukrainian authorities had no plans to build any NATO airfields, especially in Severodonetsk, and of course what Russia is doing now with Severodonetsk is pure genocide, and such excuses are absolutely worthless. But sometimes even Russian propagandists make mistakes, and in one of the publications on Komsomolskaya Pravda, they call things by their name, saying that the Russian army is the occupier. In particular, after the release of Ukrainian paramedic Yulia Payevska, call sign Tyra, the Moscow newspaper reported that the occupiers captured her in mid-March in Mariupol and now released from captivity. Thus, the fact of Russia's occupation of Ukrainian territory was recognized, but then quickly removed. As usual, Russia invents its own military feats on the Ukrainian front. In particular, the Russian Ministry of Defense officially reported that 50 generals and officers of the Ukrainian army were allegedly killed by caliber missiles in the Dnipropetrovsk region. This is a lie. The Ukrainian army did not suffer such losses. In this way, Russia is trying to demotivate Western partners to support Ukraine in this war. As a source to legalize this figure, they used one of the collaborators who went to work for the occupation administration, whom they call a member of the Zaporizhia Regional State Administration in their media resources. Russia is trying to play on a guilt complex of the German people. After reports of military support from Berlin, Russian propagandists began to draw inappropriate parallels. In particular, the well-known propagandist Kotz from Komsomolskaya Pravda said that German weapons are again delivered to Ukraine to kill Russian soldiers, as they did during World War II. In this case, one can only be reminded that it is Russia that is the aggressor. It is Russia that plays the role of Nazi invaders in this war. At the end of the briefing, I want to traditionally urge you not to trust propagandists. Trust only verified sources of information 
information, the Ukrainian TV marathon and the military and political leadership of Ukraine.